That sounds like it would be a really good ASMR. <sighs> I went to Dollarama for one thing and one thing only. Hello? Hi, I'm Nadia. You can call me Nadia. Um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making art with Crayola crayons. This pack of 24 crayons costed me like a dollar fifty. Yeah, you heard me. In this economy, I've actually never really had a Crayola crayon. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've only had their markers. Editing that here. <laughs> I just want to say that while I was editing this video, okay. I googled Crayola old markers. I saw a photo of like the old Crayola markers that used to have like the stamps at the back and holy shit like that just unlocked like a whole like childhood memory of mine because I remember owning one of those and I would use like the stamps at the back to chop them on my skin and pretend that it was like tattoos and I would just pretend to be like a gangster or something and it was it was just so fucking fun right? Crayola was ahead of their time and Crayola still is ahead of their time. Like, are you kidding? 150 for a box of crayons. They have like sidewalk chalk, they have markers, they have pencils, they have color pencils. Crayola, you really are the people's people. You, you deserve to get your ass ate. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. See you guys later. So that was like a decade ago at least. So all I really had growing up was like pencil, paper, pens, and like my mom's buncho oil pastels, but I don't think those are very child friendly because they actually fucking stank. But today is the day that we will try an average American child's childhood art supply. Let's begin. Hi, we're on my desk now. Okay, so I'm kind of nervous because I want to do good. I think I'm gonna do good, but I'm kind of skeptical because like this is only $1.50, right? And I'm not saying cheap is bad, but it's suspiciously cheap. Let me try and figure out how to open this. Okay, they actually look so cute, like packed together like this. Ah. Right off the bat, they smell kind of funky but not as bad as the buncho oil pastels that I had as a kid. From the looks of it, they have like, aww. They have little names written on here, which is adorable. This one's Yellow Amarillo. <laughs> I, oh my fucking God. I know I totally butchered that, but please do not bully me, okay? I've never studied Spanish in my life, in my life. Please just let me go this one time. Is it? <laughs> um, this, oh. <laughs> This isn't another language. This one's just called yellow. It's not yellow amarillo, my bad. Oops, I'm dumb, shit. I kind of want to start with swatching the colors on this page first because it's never a bad idea to just swatch the colors, you know? Plus I can generally see like how each of the colors look like on paper and you know, maybe how they work with one another, but I'm getting too technical and nerdy here. So I'm just gonna shut up and do it. <clears throat> so, as you can tell here, my hair was in the way for the entirety of the fucking swatch clip. Like, I really, I really don't know how other art YouTubers do it. I really don't. But yeah, <laughs> don't worry girls, you didn't miss anything. I'll show you guys the swatches in the next clip anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Peace! Okay, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Why has nobody told me that Crayola crayons are this fucking good? Like. Look at this blue. Look at this blue. And look at this. The name of this color is Blutiful. Aww. I, I'm actually really looking forward to do something whimsical with this, with this color palette. Like, do you not feel whimsical? Since I'm on the last few pages of my sketchbook here, I want to go out with a bang. We're going to draw a really good fucking garden, okay? We're going to kill this. Period. Childhood core. Okay, because we're using crayons right now and I just want to give off that childlike wonder vibe. You know what I mean? Do I want to draw a garden? Yes, I do. I do want to draw a garden. Hey girlies, how y'all doing? Good? Okay, perfect. Right now, I'm sketching the garden. I actually went on Pinterest for some inspiration, but I just truly could not absorb anything, not gonna lie. So I just 
drew like literally anything that I could think of in a garden. And this was it. Yup. So just take a good look at this, okay, before I potentially ruin it. I just love the vibes here. All right, so appreciate that. Okay, so I'd like to say something about the crayon, the texture specifically. Well, it was interesting to work with. Personally, not a fan of how waxy it is, but I feel like it can definitely be layered, which is what I'm trying to do right now. But I got really impatient and it just wasn't working out. I'm gonna be honest, this is not looking too good right now. I... it just looks blotchy, you know what I mean? The texture is not giving right now. I'm gonna try and fix this. I'm gonna try and fix this. So, I decided to give it another shot and really, really, really go in on the crevices of the paper this time, know what I'm saying? Like, just really go in there. I even gave it some darker shades and, you know, put some gradients here and there. I really, really put my pussy into this, okay? I have gathered all the knowledge that I have learned in my art college years, all the color theory, drawing techniques, um, the anatomy of the fucking tree or whatever. I tried my best. That was the point. I tried my best, okay? And I just suddenly had a brilliant idea of just outlining everything. And just like that, everything just looked better. When in doubt, line it. Line the bitch up. Just kidding, don't follow my advice. But everything was slowly coming together in the end, and I no longer felt crummy. <laughs> I even added some foliage because I was feeling a little fancy, you know, and layered the colors a little more, and the rest was history. This is definitely not how I pictured it would be. Um, this looks like I microdosed and then just started drawing whatever I wanted. And honestly, I kind of dig it. This looks pretty good. I have something to say though. I had a lot of trouble with making the colors look a little bit more cohesive. And also the texture of the crayon was not it. You can still see there's a little bit of like white gaps, but I guess that's like the whole charm of it. You just have to go over it a couple times. But other than that, the colors are really good. They're very saturated. This is definitely not childlike wonder core. This is very... This is hippie core art. Anybody with a psychedelic company, contact me, email me. I would love to do art for you. I definitely see myself doing more like Crayola art. This was um, really fun. And if you like this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you want to say hi to me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>